This is the Schuylkill Banks Boardwalk the day before it opens. This is a little preview. I'm going to give you some stats while you get to look at what you'd see. It's 2,000 feet long. It connects the South Street Bridge to Schuylkill River Park at Locust Street. It's about 15 feet wide and it widens out uh, in a couple spots even larger. And you get a view of the skyline. It cost $18 million to build this thing. Eight years of planning and two years of construction. And they haven't finished yet, but they'll finish by tomorrow. At the most, you're about 50 feet from the bank of the river, and there's a rail car there. They had to build it out because they wanted to get away from those trees, you see, and they also wanted to get away from the trains. The trees could cause maintenance problems, so there's a canopy over it, and the trains are just loud, and people don't want to be near them. So they created this, uh, but put it out over the river for practical reasons, and also to give it kind of a wow factor. You got water on both sides of you, and you got the city in front of you. This is a one part, a small part, ultimately to build the trail, the Skulka River Trail, all the way down to the Delaware River. They're about seven miles behind me, a trail that still needs to be built. This was a crucial connector to get around the, uh, the, the train track problem. About 19,000 people use the Skulka River Trail every week. So it's estimated that a good portion of those people will probably be using this bridge. It's called the Schuylkill Banks Boardwalk, but it's not actually a boardwalk. You're looking at concrete that's been scored to look like boards. But we are, in fact, on concrete. We don't know if the fishing's any good here. I guess we'll find out when people start fishing here. And there you see, you got the Walnut Street Bridge there. You got some iconic skyscrapers on the skyline. And got these guys working to make sure we can open tomorrow, Thursday, for the public.